Hey guys, happy Molecule Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a very popular ingredient in skincare and also some makeup products. And hyaluronic acid is actually naturally occurring in our skin. Most of it resides in the extracellular matrix, which helps support the cells of your skin. And hyaluronic acid plays an important role in skin hydration, skin repair, and also helps protect against UV damage. So hyaluronic acid is part of a class of compounds called glycosaminoglycans, and these compounds are excellent at holding on to water because they're very polar molecules. And so they are very attracted to water, they glob onto water, and hold on to water very efficiently. And actually hyaluronic acid can hold up to 1,000 times its own weight in water. So hyaluronic acid is primarily put into makeup and skincare to make your skin look more plump and hydrated. So previously it was thought that hyaluronic acid levels decrease as we age and that's why the skin kind of becomes dehydrated and a little more dull looking and not as plump. But recent research has shown that it's not that it actually decreases but it actually redistributes in the skin and this redistribution of the hyaluronic acid seems to be contributing to some of these issues such as dehydrated looking skin and more dull skin. So you primarily see hyaluronic acid in moisturizers because it's an excellent humectant. As I mentioned earlier, it's part of a class of molecules that are very polar and that really grab onto water, hold onto water very efficiently. And so that's why you see it used in so much skincare and it is a great ingredient but you really need to use it properly in order for it to work well so the way to use hyaluronic acid properly and this is something that i learned from dr dre i highly recommend watching her channel she's a dermatologist here on youtube and very informative videos i absolutely love her channel um but i i was watching some of her reviews on some humectant products and her advice was to as soon as you wash your, um, so after you wash your face, while your face is still damp, that is when you want to apply a humectant such as hyaluronic acid. And so the one that she suggested and the one that I've been trying out for the past week and really love is the Hado Labo Skin Plumping Gel. And I've been doing um, what she said about applying it to skin that is still wet. You let that dry. And then you apply what is called a more occlusive moisturizer. Now what that means is just a, a moisturizer that will kind of trap in that moisture so that it won't evaporate off your skin. So an example of that would be shea butter moisturizers, dimethicone moisturizers. But you want a thicker formula over top of this hyaluronic. Uh, so, so the main component of this skincare product is hyaluronic acid. That is what makes your skin look more plump and moisturized. But the reason that you need to put a thicker or more occlusive product on top of it, a moisturizer on top of it, is that what happens with humectants such as hyaluronic acid is that they will pull water from the deeper layer of your skin to the outermost layer of your skin called the epidermis. And so that's what gives your skin the very hydrated look because the water has been pulled there. It also kind of helps equilibrate it. It it kind of helps it kind of helps balance it. It helps um, balance the moisture between the deeper level deeper layers of your skin and the outermost layer of your skin. And that's what makes your skin look so beautiful and hydrated when you use products with hyaluronic acid. And the problem is is that. Um, once that water comes to the surface of your skin, if there's nothing there blocking it from evaporating off your skin, then it will evaporate off your skin and that will just lead to a dry and dull appearance once again. So um, it's called transepidermal water loss, evaporation of water from the outermost layer of your skin. So that is really a key to using products like this. And I tried it both ways. I tried it, you know, just putting that on and not putting anything else on my face and I did find over time that my skin kind of did a, kind of did start to look more dry but when I applied um, a thicker moisturizer on top now what I use is I don't have it with me right now but what I use is Egyptian magic um, I'll do a full review on Egyptian magic soon but it is 
an occlusive moisturizer that really helps seal in that moisture. Um, but again, anything containing shea butter, dimethicone, I can make a video talking more about that if you want, about um, humectants and the types of moisturizers that you would want to put on top. I'm also planning to make some skincare routine videos, and I'll definitely be showcasing this in those videos um, because I really like it. I've noticed a big difference in my skin looking more hydrated since I've been using that. Something else that I wanted to point out about hyaluronic acid is that the hyaluronic acid used in skincare is not all the same. So they actually have different molecular weights, um, different sizes of hyaluronic acid. So when you see the ingredient sodium hyaluronate in skincare, this is smaller fragments of hyaluronic acid. And, and this can actually penetrate the skin a little bit better than the larger molecules of hyaluronic acid. So it is really nice to have a product with a mixture of hyaluronic acid compounds that are both the smaller compounds and the larger compounds because the smaller compounds, again, penetrate more deeply into the skin and hydrate while the larger molecules stay on the outermost layer of the skin and help hydrate. So it is nice to have products that have a mixture of both. So I hope that this video was helpful. I can definitely talk more about hyaluronic acid in future videos. So please let me know if that is something you're interested in learning more about. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.